beautiful souls. I hope you're doing well. Today in this uh, creative intuitive transmission, we will um, have a look at a creation that was uh, made and that uh, bears the title Kalahan. And you can see the collage here on my right. Um, this collage, this creation uh, made of uh, Japanese washi shiogami papers uh, was inspired by, uh, first of all, two pieces of music. Um, and you will have the opportunity to listen to this, uh, the, this music uh, while I'll be sharing with you the process of creation of Kalahan. The first one is a, I have, I, it's important for me to precise that none of what I do may be the choice of papers I use for my collages, the use of music or the use of a background such as the one you see behind me. None of that is something I consciously choose. This is guided uh, to me by my higher self and uh, it comes as a whole, as a synchronized whole together with the music, with the collage, with the colors, the background, uh, and it's something I have no control of. Um, so, um, Kalahan, first of all, was inspired by two pieces of music. The first one was from um, Gino Dauri, uh, who is a, an amazing flamenco guitar player, uh, and the piece of music is entitled Barrio San Miguel, uh, which is obviously uh, Spanish, flamenco uh, guitar music, uh, which offers a very um, passionate emotion, very intense. It's beautiful. It's um, it's very passionate, I find, in, in its intensity, let's say. And something else that... Um, came out of uh, this this piece of music it's it has to do also with um uh the wanderings of uh the gypsy people who uh were originally related to um this, well that are originally from the, the the southern of of uh of spain the south of spain which was a region uh, largely influenced by uh arabic but um I don't know what's the word in English. I think it's more in, in French is les morts, uh, and which is uh, uh, Arabic uh, influence that came to Spain uh, a long time ago around the Middle Ages. Um, so uh, there is this notion of the passion of the music, uh, very intense, but there's this kind of oriental uh, background to it to me because of its origin. Um, one thing also I find interesting is that flamenco, not only in the music, but in the mostly in the dance that accompanies the music, flamenco dancing is a dance that is a coded language uh, that is used in movements. So the dancers, through the movements they do, they actually transmit a message. Uh, it can be a message of love. It can tell a story. But that there's that element there that's very interesting. It can tell stories of, of joy, but also of, of sorrow and things like that. So it, that's an, an interesting element there. Then the second piece of music that was uh, inspired to me was Tartil du Coran or of the Quran. And uh, I, I, I really apologize for um, Arabic speakers. Um, I'm, I don't know, I don't speak Arabic, so I don't know how to pronounce this, but Taksim Nai and Bayati, uh, something like that. Uh, this piece of music is taken from a is from a group called uh, uh, Al Kindi Ensemble, and the singer is called Hamza Shakur. Um, and this beautiful music is actually um, from an uh, an album called Takasim and Sufi Chants of Damascus, Syria. So again, this Oriental uh influence and unfortunately i haven't read the quran and i don't know how to translate the text that is sung by uh shakur so i apologize i would i think it would bring an extra interesting element to um the analysis but you know i don't i don't have that information i think it's mostly about vibration that count the most because sufi uh is a if you want a branch of um of uh 
uh, Islamic religion, which is uh, Islam, which is a very, um, I'm trying to find the right word, um, very profound and and based into um, almost um, transcendent. Uh, and you see this in singing, but also in the the movement of dance of the the Sufi dancers. I don't know if you've ever seen those dancers that dance with one arm in one direction and the other arm in another, and they turn in circle on themselves for hours and hours and hours and hours. Uh, and they come into a kind of a trance, a transcendent kind of trance and really high vibration from, you know, source or Allah, or I don't know how you, you know, want to put the name you want there. Anyway, so those two pieces of music um, are very different because Barrio San Miguel is very passionate, very intense, very emotional, very, you know, uh, and I'm not saying that the Tartil du Coran is not, uh, it is very intense and it's, but it's more transcendent. It's more inwards. It's more like a going within type of spiritual experience, if you want. So it's very two different approaches to high vibrations, to, to connecting to very a form of intensity of, of connection to something extremely beautiful and transcendent. Um, so it's kind of complementary in a way. So I thought those elements were interesting. Behind me, the uh, the the background that was chosen, and I'm not wearing feathers. It's actually this beautiful oriental lady here who does. Uh, and the background you can see here is a mix of ancient, um, you know, ancient art, but it seems to be in a con kind of in a religious context. So there's or temple context. We don't know if it's Syrian, Egyptian, doesn't really matter. It really brings high vibrations through the sun's ray that you see coming here, the immensely beautiful ancient colors, the, the saturation of these colors, but there's also that element of the, the sky, the clouds and the birds, uh, which, you know, in a way also represent this whole element of transcendence of, you know, um, the sky source, you know, call it however you want. So there's this element of transcendence through beauty and, and colors and something again, very passionate in its, in its uh, representation. Uh, lastly, in my heart, uh, when I went within, uh, the if you want a little phrase or piece of information I got in, not necessarily in words, but more into, you know, in a form of a, not even a glyph either. I'm trying to find the right word. It's more like a download, you know, a download of, of information I've received, a bundle of information. And that could be translated by something like entertain joy as a way of life in all its multiplicity and uh, and accept the cycles as kind of a wheel of fortune, you know, a wheel of fortune, you know, one day you're going to be happy, the next day you're going to be sad, the next day you're going to be angry because, you know, life happens and you're stuck in this kind of wheel of fortune and accepting and allowing these cycles of life and is also a way in which we can um, create the exercise and I've mentioned this in a video montage I did on January 1st on my channel related to the she or Telozi, where uh, these, these beings from inner earth talk about their relationship to joy as a, an action and not just a feeling like, oh, I'm feeling joyful today. It's more like, how can you imbue a state of mind of profound joy in your life, whatever the elements happen in the wheel of fortune of events and emotions how can joy take many forms by the way in which we connect to high vibrations to this profound if you want spiritual joy that comes with being connected to your higher self and to to source and in this way we are able to if we, if you want to celebrate joy and create joy as an action in our lives in whatever form, but also in whatever time, in whatever context, in whatever experience. And so I find that this ties up quite nicely with, um, you know, the background, obviously, because of those colors that bring this golden source-like element of joy of this, with the sunlight here and, 
this this notion of being connected to higher, you know, to source, to to high vibrations and beauty, and ancient beauty as well. So there's this this element there, um, and also which this ancient beauty also collab uh, co corroborates the music that comes with this connection with the Orient, but also with powerful, intense emotions. Uh, that comes with uh, the flamenco music, but also with the more inner going within type of sacredness of the uh, Quran and um, Sufi chant. chant. Um, and, you know, I, I think that all of this comes together in the sense that we are able to celebrate joy, not joy as an emotion, but joy as a transcendence in all different forms. It can be very passionate and, 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 Free and it, it can also be very organized and very um not organized. I'm trying to find a way more um choreographed in a sense that it's for example, I will take the example of the uh the Sufi chant that I talked about. It's called a, a tartil of the Quran. And tartil, I made a little bit of research because I don't know about these uh elements. Tartil is actually a way, it's an organized way of chanting the the, the 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 song this sufi piece of music uh in an organized and specific kind of ritualized way and it's organized it's kind of choreographed in your way if you want through the words through the tone of voice the way it is sang while barrio san miguel uh is is a song or is a piece of music which is very emotional and i'm not saying that uh, um, flamenco guitar is not organized or it's not choreographed because it's very technical, but there's an element there that's more um, passionate and visceral and, and, and more emotional. So again, showing contrast here between something more within and something more expressive. So I thought that was interesting. So um, if we have a look at the collage itself, uh, this all of these elements were translated in a collage through the choice of paper, the motifs, and the disposition of, of the forms. So obviously we have this, again, this very golden uh, background here with uh, flying birds uh, and those red fruits and red elements in the background, which to me um, connect with this element of passionate element of joy uh, that comes again with uh, the flamenco piece of music. Um, but the golden aspect for me is always related to a strong connection to source. To, so this extreme profound joy that comes from being connected uh, through high frequencies of source. So there's this element there and this transcendence that's found in both pieces of music. So that was uh, an important element for the background. Then again, we have through the major two circles, this contrast again between the upper circle, which is in red, flying birds, lots of action. To me, it speaks of the flamenco music, which is again, something very emotional, very passionate. It's a way of being in joy in the, you know, in the, cy in the cy cycle of emotions, you can be in this cycle of in this moment of joy, of intense, of intensity, of of um, power, uh, that the flamenco translate, and then in a lower circle represent this more galactic, you know, night sky, cosmos type of going within that can be translated with the uh, beautiful uh, music uh, of the Sufi chant, which relates to a connection to joy and to higher self and high frequency source in a much more um, calm and uh, um, yeah, less intense um, in terms of activity. It, and it's more like a contem contemplative thing. And then we have these two branches um, that go from one side to the other that remind me of the wheel of fortune, which uh, brings those cycles of, you know, of emotions, of events, in which both of them are connected to a form of axle, which is the center of the wheel, uh, which in this case is represented by the golden paper with uh, the the um, the flower of life motif, which represents for me uh, source. And so cycles of life turn, uh, joy can come in different form, connection to source can come in different forms, 
but always remains in the center, that notion of connection to source. And that's when we, being in the action of joy, not just the emotion of joy, but the action of joy, which is to consciously and mindfully decide to be in the action of joy, it doesn't matter you know where you're at in the cycle of good things and bad things and intense emotional things and more contemplative things because in the center in that axle in the center of it there's always you and that connection to source through your higher self so you're always in that intimate profound inner joy uh that this is the joy the the she we're talking about in that excerpt i shared with you in january 1st so this is um how i wanted to um share with you this uh, this element of of entertain joy as a way of life not just as an emotion but as an action and it's put into words into music into visual or iconographical ways and i hope it will resonate with you in perhaps something you felt like hearing today or that feels good for you today an invitation perhaps to bring into your life, these high frequencies of the action of joy, of being in that joy, being centered in that, in that higher self and source energy. Um, I want to say that uh, this piece of this original artwork, uh, Kalahan, uh, will not be put on my uh, on my online art shop uh, as an original because this is the result of a special request. Someone asked to have a CIT, so a creative intuitive transmission and an artwork uh, created for them, not knowing, you know, what the paper would be, not knowing what the message would be. And as I've explained previously, uh, that particular original will be sent to that person. But uh, this transmission obviously is transmitted to all of you. But there will also be, if you really like this artwork, they, they're real, they will be, as always, um, a digital file uh, available on my um, online boutique or art shop, uh, which you can download. Uh, it's a very affordable price and you can download it and you can do whatever you want with it. You can put it on, a, on the background of your electronics. You can print it and frame it. You can whatever. Uh, and this is a way to bring this, uh, this element, this frequency, this high frequency of the question of joy and how we can ground joy into as an action uh, in our lives. And you can bring that into your sacred space um, at home. So this is uh, all for this uh, creative intuitive transmission. I will now leave you to the creation of this artwork uh, with uh, both pieces of music. All right, take great care of yourself. Uh, keep high vibes, keep connected to uh, keep being connected to high vibrations and high vibes because this is how you keep your inner joy. Take care. Bye. Alif Lam
وَبِالْآخِرَةِ هُمْ يُوقِنُونَ أُولَئِكَ عَلَى هُدًى مِّن رَّبِّهِمْ وَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ صدق الله العظيم الفاتحه